Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to give discounts via coupon codes on seller. Now, before you can create a coupon, ensure you already have a product or several products set on your store. To set a coupon code on seller, navigate to the top right and to the hamburger icon, then to the left, select coupons. Once you've selected that, if you've never created a coupon before, this dashboard will be blank. But because we have several coupons, that is why you can see all of these ones right here. So what you want to do is to click on create coupon on the top right. P.S. You can create coupon codes for any product on seller. So whether you're selling courses, you're selling physical products, you're selling digital products, you're selling ebooks, subscription services, you can always create coupon codes that you can give out to your customers. Now, once here on the dashboard, the first thing you want to do is to select the type of coupon you want to create. That is, do you want the coupon to apply to every product on your store or to a specific product? If you select general as type, then whatever you create applies to all your products and customers can get discounted price when they buy anything from your store using the coupon code you generated at checkout. However, if you want to apply to a specific product, set the type to product. A new option for you to select the product you want it to apply will pop out right here. So select from the list of products you already have on your store. So from the list of products on my store, I'm going to select the product I want to apply the coupon code to. So I would um, select this one that says subscription, discounted per subscription. And then the next thing is to choose your code, right? So this is totally dependent on you. It could be an acronym of your product or just anything that you feel like. So for this case, I am going to be using discount. So your coupon code can be anything. It could be your name, it could be a name of person, it could be the name of the product, or just anything at all that you feel comfortable using. Now, this is the code you will give to your customer to apply at checkout when they are trying to buy this specific product, which is subscription, discounted per subscription. Now, once you've set your coupon code, the next thing you want to do is to decide on the discount. Now, there are two ways you can set this. You can set the discount based on percentage or based on amount. So, let's say you want to give a 10% discount. All you have to do is to type in 10 in the percentage option and leave the amount option to zero. If you do this, once your customers use the coupon code at checkout, 10% will be deducted from the product price set and the customer will pay the resulting equivalent. For this case, the product is 30,000 Naira. So once 10% is deducted from 30,000, the resulting equivalent is 27,000. So when the customer uses this coupon code discount, the customer is going to be paying 27,000 instead of the original amount, which is 30,000. However, if you want to give an amount as discount instead of percentage, let's say your, this product costs 30,000 Naira and you want to give 2,500 and you do not know the equivalent of that in percentage, you can set the percentage to zero and then the amount to 2,500. If you do this, once the customers use the coupon code at checkout, 2,500 would be deducted from the product price set and the customer will pay the resulting equivalent. So for this case, the product is 30,000 and when 2,500 is deducted, the customer will pay 27,500 instead. Now, the final thing to decide on before creating your coupon is to set the coupon limit. What this means basically is how many people do you want to use this coupon? If you want a thousand people to be able to use the coupon, then set it to 1000. So the coupon code will only apply to anyone who uses it until it gets to the 1000 person, then it becomes invalid. However, if you want it to be unlimited, then you want to set the quantity to zero. Now let's quickly create this coupon and go see how it looks on the product we've selected. So this is the product we set the coupon code for. 
Remember, we said it took amount instead of percentage. So we want 2,500 Naira to be deducted from the original price of 30,000 Naira. So what I'm going to do now is try to subscribe to this product and continue to check out. At checkout, you would see the option that says, got a coupon code, click here. So all I just want to do is to click here and put in the coupon code, which we just created and you must have given out to your customers. So I'll just type in discount. Then click on apply. Now that we've applied the coupon code, coupon applied, you can see that instead of 30,000 right here, the customer will now pay 27,500. Then the customer can proceed to make payment. Now, if we edit this coupon and take this out instead, make this zero and put in percentage instead and say 10%. 10% of 30,000 will be 3,000 there and not 2,500. Then we update this coupon. And then we'll try to subscribe again. Check out and um, click here for coupon code apply. Discount. Now you will see that 10% was actually deducted from the original price of 30,000. And instead of the customer to pay 30,000, they are now to pay 27,000. Remember the first one we tried to subscribe to, we actually used amount, which is 25. So the customer was to pay 27,500 instead of 30,000. But for this case, we used percentage, which chose 10% and set the amount to zero. Uh, now, 10% was deducted from the original amount of 30,000 and the customer can now pay 27,000. So in summary, there are two ways to give the discount, right? You can set it in percentage. So let's say you want to give 20% off or you just have to do to put 20% here and the amount set to zero. Or you can say, okay, I'm giving 5,000 off this product. All you just have to do is to set the percentage to zero and then the amount to 5,000 and seller will do the math for you. Please note, if you set the coupon for a specific product, just like this one we created, which is specific for this product, that code cannot be used to buy another product on your store. So if I try to buy another product, for instance, then I click on buy now and continue to check out. And I said, got a coupon code. Then I click here. So try to use the coupon code we created, discount, apply. You're going to see the message underneath that that says, coupon can only be used with the subscription products, right? So it's going to tell you the specific product you can use the coupon for. That means this coupon does not apply to every product on the store. However, if your product type is general, the code can be used on any product on your store. So let's try to create a new coupon code quickly. And this time leave it as genera and then the coupon code should be um, genera. <laughs> let's just leave it as genera, okay? And we said the percentage is um, 10%. Let's use percentage, so the amount will be zero and the limit is unlimited, so we leave it at zero and then we create this coupon code. Now we'll come back to my store and say, okay, let's take this out. Then let's try to buy this. That's the subscription, right? Check out, um, we click here, put in the coupon code genera, click on apply. The 10% applied to this product. You see that? Let's try this for another product on the store. So we are going to try to buy this product, continue to check out. Use the code general, apply. The coupon code also applied to this product. Now, this is because when we created this coupon, the type is general and not products. That means this code applies to every product on our store. Finally, you can always come back to this dashboard, right? Come back here to coupons. 
So this is the coupon dashboard. This is where you see all the coupons you've created, right? And from here, you can track the number of sales you made via the coupon code. All you just have to do is come here to the actions tab and use this icon here to view your number of sales, right? So if you've not even made any sales, you're going to be seeing the numbers here. So for this one, we didn't make any sale made three sales with this one so you can view the customers see their email addresses and you can measure your marketing effort to know the number of people that coupon code brought into your business so this is how to create and use coupon codes on your seller store